What's up everybody, in this video we're going to be looking at a recent shoot that I did testing out Kentmere Pan 400 film. So before this shoot I'd never shot with Kentmere Pan 400 and I wanted to give it a try as it was a very affordably priced film um, and I've been liking shooting a lot more black and white so I thought maybe it would be something that I'd like to add to my regular shooting arsenal. So for this shoot I used my Nikon F3 with the Voigtlander 58mm knocked on um, and I just did a portrait shoot with a friend Olivia who's been in a few videos before. So for this shoot we went down to a beach that I've been going to recently to take photos. Uh, it's a nice little beach, has a few points of interest, some rocks, some good dunes um, and a few different bits and pieces that you can sort of play around with and utilise for your photos.
So after shooting the first roll, um, I decided to go for a second. We still had a lot of good light and um, I thought I might as well just go through both rolls and I can develop them both, have them look the same and just see how I like the results.
So I hope you enjoyed the video and the photos there. Um, so I'm not too sure about this film. Uh, when I was first looking into it, I had no idea about Kentmere, but after doing a small amount of research, I realized that it's actually just cheap Ilford film. And what Ilford did was they rebranded it as Kentmere as a way to keep sort of the pro films as Ilford. And then this is the cheaper budget film as Kentmere. Um, so this is good and bad. Um, I think it's quite grainy. It's not got the best contrast, it's a little bit flat. Um, got a fair bit of latitude. I wasn't uh, sort of super specific with my metering or anything like that and held up pretty well. Um, so I think overall it's a good, basic, all round cheap film, but it's not the best if you're doing more serious shoots or you want something that's a little bit cleaner, nicer. Um, so it depends. With the price of this film, I think it's really like best suited for people who are beginning uh, with black and white photography and wanting to get into uh, developing and scanning their own film. Um, I've recently been doing that and it's nice to have cheap film that you're sort of less worried about the results or if it doesn't quite turn out. Um, and Kentmere does that. It gives pretty good uh, results, but they're not amazing. Um, it's very forgiving in terms of it's got good latitude, um, quite low contrast, so you can sort of work a little bit in post on the computer. Um, and overall, it's a pretty forgiving film, so great for beginners and people that are learning. I think for me personally, I probably won't shoot it that much anymore. Um, I prefer the results for a 400 speed film with like um, HP5, um, and then I, I love Pan F, so I think Ilford has a lot more films that I like, and they're not too much more expensive, but this one's not the best. I mean, I might find it useful if I'm testing out cameras and things like that, um, but apart from that, I don't know if I'll be using it again. It just sort of, it did nothing for me. The contrast just wasn't quite there um, and I'm not sure. So anyway, let me know down below in the comments if you've shot with Kentmere Film before, how you liked it, um, what you thought about it. If you have any more information that I might have missed, um, it's always appreciated. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel, helps to uh, boost the videos and get more people to see them. And I'll see you in the next one.